Hello everyone to Electric News Highlights, quick weekly news about the electric car world. These news are brought to you by Tronity. If you own a company and you have a lot of company cars and maybe you also have a lot of EVs, then Tronity got you covered when it comes to home charging. You don't need to install a special charger at home for your employees. You can use Tronity. Tronity can record what car is charging at home, what will it cost, and it gives you a monthly bill what you have to pay back to your employee when it comes to charging at home. That's way cheaper and way easier than other solution. Check them out in the link in the description below. BYD sells more EVs than Tesla. Yes, in Europe in April BYD sold more cars than Tesla sold in the same time in Europe. That is incredible when you think about that Tesla is on the market for around 10 years in Europe and BYD only since 2022. And this happened even though a new version of the Tesla Model Y, the Juniper version, came out a few months ago. Let's stay with BYD. BYD has presented the new Dolphin Surf, a very small EV for the city, only 4 meters long. We have three different versions, a 30 kilowatt hour battery with a motor of 65 kilowatt front wheel drive or a 43 kilowatt hour battery with the same motor or a 115 kilowatt front wheel drive motor. The small battery can charge with 65 kilowatt, the big battery with 85 kilowatt peak DC. Top speed is 150 kilometers an hour. Of course, the acceleration is not amazing. 9.1 on the fastest one to 12.2 seconds for the slowest. WLTP range on the small battery is 220 kilometers, on the big battery 322. Prices start at 23,000 euros up to 31,000 euros, but BYD has now a special sale where you can get the Dolphin Surf for under 20,000 euros. Seat Spain factory is ready for new EVs. Yes, they have started a new series production for batteries and for parts for the body for the Volkswagen ID2 and the Cupra Raval. And they started in a special line and they want to build the batteries for those cars. The production, the real production will start at the end of this year and the car will come out in 2026. The ID2, the Raval, I'm pretty sure very close off that and the plan is that in this factory they build over 300,000 batteries in a year. Facelift Genesis G80 and GV70. Yes the G80, I didn't even know about this car, will get a new battery. 800 volt system, 94 kilowatt hours, 25 minutes, 10 to 80 percent, sounds a lot like the EV9 battery. 570 kilometers double LTP range, the wheelbase got longer with the facelift, about 13 centimeters. The facelift of the GV70 gets the new battery of the Ionic 5, the Kia EV6 and so on, 84 kilowatt hours. 479 kilometers WLTP range and it gets a new display, an OLED screen with 27 inches. CO2 EU regulation update. The EU has a regulation where every car maker has to go down with the CO2 production of their cars for the whole fleet every year. And of course that is hard to do when you still sell a lot of cars that produce CO2 and not just electric. Dataforce has now released new data about this for every car maker from 2024 update to the beginning of 2025. Volkswagen is halfway there, but they still have uh, far to go. Renault is amazing. They're even down, so they, they're producing great cars. But Mercedes and Audi are still almost the same. They have a lot of work ahead. Volkswagen e-Golf GTI. Volkswagen has revealed that they're planning a new e-Golf at the end of the decade, maybe earliest 2028, and they're also maybe planning a GTI version. We already seen the Volkswagen ID2 all, and then they had the concept GTI version of the ID2, which most likely has way more power, maybe a bigger battery, all sporty, still front wheel drive, I think. Uh, all of this great stuff and maybe they will make uh, e-golf with the GTI version as well. Important what I have seen is that the e-golf will be one of the first cars on the new SPP platform where the Volkswagen ID2 is on the MEB entry platform. 
Volkswagen Emi B Plus. Let's stay with Volkswagen. The ID2 is coming in 2026 and it's on the platform Emi B Entry and it will have LFP battery. And the boss of Volkswagen now said that the Emi B Plus platform is coming as well. And this means that all the cars we know from now, ID3, ID4, 5, ID7, will get an LFP battery as well. And that is then called the Emi B Plus platform. Most most likely then the cars can be way cheaper. We'll see what all the things are with the LFP battery, how they charge, how they are in the cold and everything. But this is the plan and this will come after the Volkswagen ID2 came out. So maybe uh, next summer or maybe in the end of 2026. It's a cell to pack LFP battery and it's built in Germany in Salzgitter. MGS5 EV can now be ordered in Germany. It's the new EV, it's the predecessor of the ZS EV. Start at 38,000 euros up to 47,000 euros. You can have a small battery, 47 kilowatt hours with a range of 340 kilometers and it can charge with a peak of 120 kilowatt or a big battery, 62 kilowatt hours, range 480 kilometers and can charge with a peak of 139 kilowatt. 10 to 80% in the small battery takes 24 minutes, in the big battery 28 minutes. The small battery gets a 125 kilowatt motor, 170 kilometers an hour is the top speed and 0 to 100 kilometers an hour takes around 8 seconds. The big battery has a 170 kilowatt motor, 190 kilometers an hour top speed and 0 to 100 is 6.3 seconds. And a few news about the channel. Uh, right now I have the Kia EV3 till next Monday. Then a Ford Explorer is coming. I had the car for just a few hours last uh, December. But now I get the car for 10 days. I can test a bit more, which is amazing. And then after that, I finally get a Model Y Juniper. I can test the car. I want to compare it to the old Model Y and stuff like that. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Better Life One. And if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.